Hello, everybody. Welcome into Talking Pittsburgh on this Tuesday, March 8th, 2022. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you had a wonderful day. Glad you're tuning in with us for another edition of Talking Fitchburg. A beautiful day out there. Hopefully you got outside today and just soaked up some of that sunshine. I feel like it's all winter long. It's always gloomy. So when you get these sunshine days, you're like, yes. Okay, maybe it's just me out there. Yeah. All right. It's awesome. And uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully you got outside and enjoyed it. Hey, I got a busy show coming up for you today. We'll uh, check in with the chamber, uh, take a look back at an interview we did with them uh, earlier or later last month, uh, earlier this month, if you want to say it that way. Uh, and a road construction update for you. Yeah, we'll preview this summer's road construction. I know more road construction. We got to get it done uh, for better infrastructure, better roads. It's going to be great. And we'll break that down for you coming up here uh, with our friends from the Public Works Department, Bill and Andrew. Andrew McFadden, not our Andrew. Although he could probably talk road construction too if he wanted to. Uh, but uh, we uh, do that uh, here on <laughs> Andrew said pass. <laughs> it's a hard pass. All right, we'll leave it to the professionals. Let's jump in uh, to some of the headlines we're working today. Uh, Metro Transit Network uh, redesign project is in full force. The Massive Metro uh, Network redesign uh, is uh, ongoing. They held their first public meeting back on Thursday, February 24th. And that uh, record can uh, be fine found online uh, for your viewing pleasure. There's another meeting that will be held here in Fitchburg. They'll host the similar meetings to focus on routes uh, in and around Fitchburg. This meeting is scheduled for Monday, March 28th at 6 p.m. The meeting will be hosted at City Hall Council Chambers located right here at 5520 Lacey Road and we'll have a virtual option as well. If you'd like to uh, appear or just watch, let's start with just watching. You can go to our website, FitchburgWI.gov, click on our Gov channel to watch it. And if you want to participate in the virtual meeting, you need to register. The information is online. Proposed changes will review and approve uh, this spring to go into effect on August, in August of 2023. More information about the proposed changes can be found at the website, cityofmadison.com, backslash metro, backslash routes, schedules, and transit network design. Redesign, that is. And the city also has a survey, uh, or the Metro has a survey out there as well that you can take uh, so they can gather your feedback. So check that out as well. All right. It's, uh, you know it's getting warmer when uh, we're talking about the waterway cleanups. Yes, the annual waterway cleanup date is set. Uh, set for Saturday, uh, April 23rd, not August, April 23rd. Uh, Fitchburg's 2022 waterway cleanups are are scheduled for 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on the 23rd. More details of the waterway cleanups, including lists and locations, can be found at our website, pitchforwi.gov. Volunteers are encouraged to wear boots and bring some work gloves, vest bags, and gloves will also be provided at some of the locations. Please be aware that restroom facilities may not be available in some of the cleanup areas, so don't do what I do and drink tons of coffee and then go do a cleanup. It's not going to work out very well. And they said more information to come on exact locations here real soon. Another uh, spring uh, tradition is the Spring uh, Recycle Day event. Uh, this is scheduled for Saturday, April 9th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. at City Hall Campus, 5520 Lacey Road. You can check out the brochure uh, online for more information, uh, but we've got it all. Uh, confidential paper recycling. Of course, the electronic recycling will be back. Remember that some of the items, though, do cost extra. And uh, that information is at our website, or you can go to Resource Solutions Madison. They are the uh, ones that are will be here on site for that. Also, we have our med drop box will be open as well, so you can drop off those unused meds and uh, do it safely. All right, we've got an exhibit to tell you about uh, that's happening uh, out at the Fitchburg Public Library. Legendary exhibition by Re Representative Collective. This display will be uh, with the portraits and information on legendary women in STEM. And uh, this is going to be cool. It's going to be uh, on display March 11th through April 9th at the Fitchburg Public Library. It's on the second floor. It's right near the elevators. Or if you are familiar with the big cow, uh, you call that a statue or whatever. It's awesome. First off, but you can go to uh, the art gallery there and check out this exhibit. All right, please do your part and pick up your dog waste and keep your pet's leash. As it gets warm out, we want to make sure that you stay protected and clean up that doo-doo. I guess I said doo-doo finally on this show. City ordinance prohibits animals from running at large upon any street, alley, or public place in the city or on property other than the owners or keeper except the following areas, city dog park or public hunting grounds. Also, city ordinance also requires removal of animal waste left on public or private property other than the owners. But even if it's your owners, you want to clean that up because you don't want to get those shoes dirty. Just saying. 
Just saying. All right, that does it for our headlines. Come up next, we'll uh, take you out to an interview with the Fitchburg Chamber. And later in the show, we're talking road construction. What a show. We'll take a quick break. More to come. You're watching Talking Fitchburg.